talking, let's talk a little of Fire Brigade of Flames in Chapter 114 with me, the Angry MF and the Spare Viewer. As we see, Ogun and uh, Shinra each trying to fend off the giant worm. Um, it seems that they not really managed to defeat it, defeat it, but they do a nice high five and successfully manage to make the worm give up. Later on, when they are relaxed, they all confront the mole and demand to know what it really is. The mole once again mentions that it came from a place called Oasis, where, uh, mm, uh, but he had many friends that he had to leave. However, strangely enough, uh, we meet a crow that can also talk. The crow calls the mole Scoop, while, while the mole is called the crow Beauty, whatever. Apparently this mole, who by the way has half of its face covered like a mantle and also a burning thing, seems to be also from the oasis. I don't really know how this worked, but it seems indeed that Adora birds have evolved these animals because they confirm that not all of these animals can talk. So um, Scoop continues to tell them that... Uh, a mysterious group came out of nowhere, and we see a shadow of them riding on a burning horse. Were they the White Hoods, or someone who actually forced them to leave? And so uh, Scoop has been uh, stealing potatoes, well, just to survive. Elsewhere, Ogun and Shinra looks outside the horizon and see flaming lights on the in the dark, and the crow confirms uh, Shinra's suspicions that they are flame humans. And these apparently flame humans that have been wandered are loud, lonely for 250 years. No one has been put them to rest and they just have been existing. The crow says though that they cannot kill them uh, as easily as before, although technically, well, it's mercy kill, although in a way it's not. Because of this land is so fragile, killing them like will not be so easy as before so they all they can do is investigate the Adora burst. The next day the mole and the crow decides to take them to a place where they will be able to see the oasis. The crow and Shinra takes up high in the air uh, uh, where they are able to uh, see something and to Shinra's surprise he sees wood and plants but the crow in s itself talks that uh, their god, apparently the one who gave them the ability to talk, resides there. And Shinra can only be surprised as he recognizes that so-called god. The one thing that is giving this power to the oasis, the one thing that gave the, some animals the ability to talk, is none other than a tower that is Amaterasu, the lifeblood of Tokyo Empire. And another, another Tokyo, no, another... Amaterasu. It's been long since hinted that um, the creators of Amaterasu holds a secret. Moreover than that, we do not know exactly what uh, the corrupt um, Hajime Corporation is hiding. But indeed, a second Amaterasu. Why is it there and why is it doing? The plot thickens, indeed. Next chapter is called Oasis. All in all, just a chapter of information. Nothing special. Although that crow was kind of funny, especially the way it had a, its feathers like a hood and a burning eye that, that way. But it seems those animals that are like, uh, almost look like they're burned up are the ones that are affected by the Adora burst. And flame humans that have existed for 250 years. Wonder what kind of pain that they have been going through. And a second Amaterasu. Why is it there? Give me your thoughts if you have any.